All right, guys, so we are back at Clefairy Park. Uh, we're going to be trying to finish up that evolution today. But I do have another, a couple of evolutions I would like to show you guys. I did pick up, I hatched some eggs and then refilled up my thing so that we can hatch some today. I doubt we'll get to hatching this 10K egg today, but we are pretty far into it. Uh, we'll be hatching this five, these two 5Ks at 4.5 and 3 pretty soon. Uh, and then the other ones will come, including the 1.5 uh, on that 2 kilometer. But we do have a couple of evolutions that I need to do, that, or that I wanted to show you guys. I guess I don't need to do them, but I will show you guys these evolutions. Got a ton of ratatas. I need to go through and uh, clean this up. Yeah, I'm still short on Ekans, but we do have some Shanshrews to evolve here. Um, I'm currently not too worried about IVs. Um, I'm just not until, I don't know, until they add a more competitive way to battle. I don't really care about the IVs. If they add a new competitive way to battle, I'll probably get involved a little bit more with IVs and all that stuff. But the battling right now is not very competitive, so I don't really care too much uh but we're gonna be getting new pokemon today as well so that's kind of the big thing that i wanted to show uh so there's a 1004 sand slash i'm happy it got over a thousand i didn't expect it to be much so over 1000 we are getting close to uh Nido queen i just need what is that 18 more candies for nidoran females if i can hatch one from an egg that would be huge uh, I could get Needle Queen now, but I don't want to evolve a 454. It'll be a horrible Needle Queen. And then for Nidoran male, I need a lot more. I still need like 50 candies. Uh, Clefairies are what we're hunting today. We're about halfway to a Clefable. Um, I guess I can go ahead and... Oh, no, I can't actually. I thought I was able to evolve a gold bit. Uh, we have a Paris here to evolve into a Parasect. Now, this isn't a new Pokemon. We've evolved Paris into Parasect a couple of times already, but... This should turn to be a nice Parasect, maybe like 1,200, uh, so I thought I'd show it. Uh, I hatched a Paris from an egg that got me the candies that I needed. I need to go through and clean up my inventory a little bit, but that is for a later. Only a 984 Paris. That's still my best Paris. Um, I guess let me use, let me see here, just pop, this should get it over 1,000. Yeah, okay, so 1,009. Let me get my first 1,000 Parasect. I believe, no I can't, that's going to be a really nice Venomoth, it's a 667, I caught this Venomoth today, a 1230 Venomoth, I just caught it in the wild, which was really nice, I don't think I'm there with Psydux, no, uh, still working on Poliwhirl slash Poliwrath, um, what I'm really doing is I'm waiting because I want to evolve this Poliwag into a Poliwhirl to do the final evolution, uh, same with the Abra, um, I'm just waiting till I get enough to do that. So that's not really anything of concern. Uh, this bell sprout I'm kind of interested. It's a 613. I'm interested to evolve it up to a victory bell eventually. I got this bad boy today. This is a new Pokemon for me, Machop. So it actually came with 19 candies, which is really nice when I hatched that. Uh, we have this to evolve now. It is a Magneton. We actually have two 487s. Um, their movesets change, but let me... All right, let me evolve this one because its move set is worse. If I ever want to mess around with the Magnemite, then I have the better move set. But hopefully, I'm hoping for like a 1,200 Magneton. Uh, I'm not holding my breath, uh, but that's that's my goal. I'd love to get a uh, a 1,200. All right, new Pokemon to the Pokédex, which is always nice. And nope, only a thousand forty-two. I also hatched this Doduo, so we're kind of getting those candies up. I haven't really, I found one Doduo, which is this 10 CP one, and then now I've hatched one. Uh, Seals, we're getting close to getting Dugong. We got our Disappointment that is uh, the Gengar. I don't think I have anything else, but we can take a look at all the different stuff that I have. Getting close to Execute. I think we're getting close to Weezing. Oh, no, no, we're not, but I have this really nice coughing when I get there. We're about halfway to ride on. Um, I think that's it. I don't think I do have anything else. But we're getting close to evolving a lot of different stuff. I guess I can give you guys a little bit of a Magikarp update. We've got 163 Magikarp candies out of the 400 needed. I'm going to be one of the last YouTubers to get um, Gyarados. But I don't think it's too big of a deal. I am going to trade in these two Eevees here. And we're going to do a quick Eevee evolution I want to get a Jolteon still, but I 
can't seem to get a Jolteon. So we're not even going to nickname this. We're not even going to nickname this Eevee. We're just going to go and straight up evolve it. I think after I get another... I think there are... Th I want to do two more evolutions of Eevees, which will be Jolteon and a Vaporeon. I want to get like an 1800 or 1900 Vaporeon. So... I'm just kind of waiting on that. But after that, I'm going to start saving up my good EVs to turn them into Espeon and Umbreon when they're released. Uh, but let's go ahead and do this evolution real quick for Eevee. And then we'll get into catching some Pokemon. Hopefully I can find some more stuff than just... I want to find the Clefairies because I need the Clefable anyway, but I would like to find some other Pokemon too. Okay, we got the Vaporeon. I'm fine with that. Now I still want a Jolteon, but I will take this Vaporeon. It should be pretty good. A 1730 Vaporeon, that is pretty good. I will take that. Uh, not the greatest. Um, I don't know what to nickname. I'm just going to name this Vaporeon and then switch. Vaporeon. And then this one can be Queen Eevee. Nickname this quick enough. Alright, so I'm going to pop a Incense. I guess I can... We got 6,000 XP, caught 10 ground-type Pokemon. Now there's just the Clefairy on the map. Uh, we have now caught 94 and seen 94 Pokemon. Uh, there, Like, I could get the Needle Queen now. There is some Pokemon I could get. I'm just kind of holding off and waiting and seeing about some of them. But that's a little bit of an update on the Pokedex. We still got a... Like, the game doesn't register that this is next to Dratini is Dragonair and the Dragonite. But I think that'll do it. I'm going to pop an incense and we're going to drive around the park like normal. See if we can find uh, some Clefairies or anything else that's exciting. I probably won't show any Rattatas or anything like that. I'll try to just stick to the Clefairies. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what we can find. All right. So quickly after starting, we have found ourselves a Jigglypuff here, which is really not. All right. There we go. I hit up a bunch of Pokestops today, so I have a bunch of Ultra and a bunch of Great Balls already. I had some already saved up, but I have any mo even more now, so if we do find anything crazy or awesome, I should have plenty of Pokeballs to catch it. Up to 21 Jigglypuff candies, not amazing, but we're getting up there. I'll show you guys here. See, we've got 219 Pokeballs, 51 Great Balls, and 35 Ultra Balls. I think that gives us plenty of... Uh, good great balls and ultra balls in order to um, catch whatever Pokemon we may find along the way here. All right, guys. Well, the recording failed, so that's always great. Uh, so you missed the eggs that we just hatched. Okay, no, get out of that. All right, but we hatched ourselves a Vulpix. Look at the candies. We got 20 Vulpix candies, 20 of them. So, we're going to sort this by number, go down to Vulpix. I think that's my strongest Vulpix. This is not going to be a very strong Ninetales, which is disappointing, but it is 70, and not 70, it's about 60 higher than my other Vulpixes that I caught. So we're going to go ahead and evolve this bad boy. I am super excited to get myself a Ninetales. Uh, we still have the... Uh, lucky egg on so we'll get all that bonus experience but here we go my nine tails um it's probably gonna be like a maybe over a thousand it's gonna suck but i'm gonna train i'm gonna use vulpix candies on it and all that different stuff i'm gonna try my best to get vulpix candies for it and make it into a really good nine tails if it cracks 1100 i would be super stoked oh it's 1200 oh nice I am super happy about that. We can uh, power it up twice. Let's go ahead and power it up 30 at a time. That's not bad. I am really happy with this. I love Ninetales, and I'm super stoked to have uh, a Ninetales join the squad. Like, it just looks so clean, especially on this app. It just looks so nice. Uh, obviously, I think I'll leave Vulpix in the in the hunting for um, part because now I need to power this Ninetales up because it's really not... It's not even, I don't, does it even, it doesn't even crack like the main list here. Like the top, it, it almost does, it's getting there. It just has to get, I think if I powered it up one more time, it would crack it. All right, you know what? I don't need all these, I don't need these extra Vulpix if I'm going to catch Vulpix, so 
we're going to trade these two Vulpix in and power it up one more time so it cracks my top Pokemon list. And it'll crack 1,300 uh, CP, I think. It, it, will it? No, it'll be just under 1,300. Oh, I don't want to transfer it. Oh, it needs three now! No! Do I want to transfer? No. We'll hold on to that Vulpix. Oh, well, it's 1268, still not bad. I'm super stoked to have a Nine Tails, guys. Like, super excited. One of the Pokemon that I wanted the most from the beginning, Dragonite, Arcanine, Nine Tails, and Charizard were my four. Somehow, three of those are all fire types, but I am super happy to get him and add. Uh, I'm more thinking Nine Tails as a female Pokemon. Add her to the squad. Uh, let's go ahead and do this by favorites. She does crack the favorite section. I don't know why this Tauros is favorited. Because I have like a bunch of better Tauros. But I don't have a whole lot favorited, I guess. But it uh, does crack that list. And I am super excited to have this Ninetales join the squad. Uh, so we've already gotten a bunch of new Pokemon in this episode. We're still looking for Clefairies. Maybe we can get a Clefable in this episode too. But uh, we've got some more eggs to pop off here soon. We've got another 5km. We've got a couple of twos. Or we got three twos that we're hoping to hatch into probably Magikarps or the starters. I would take Pikachu. I still want to write you, but uh, not going to be too picky right now. I'm super excited about the Ninetales. Super hyped. We'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully, I can hatch another Vulpix and get 20 candies so I can just keep powering up this Ninetales for days. Uh, but... We'll have to wait and see. We'll have three sh cracks at it today. And then I'll go refill my eggs and I'll have more cracks at it later. Uh, but hopefully we can power. Well, guys, not too far into our, our uh, little trip here. We have ourselves our first Clefairy. Only a 141. Not too big of a deal. I think I have a pretty powerful Clefairy right now anyway. I don't think I need to worry about getting a powerful Clefairy. I'll actually check that and show you guys which is my strongest Clefairy at this point. Uh, that will evolve into the Clefable. Hopefully, maybe today. I've got actually a decent amount of time. Uh, I've got like two hours to hang out here at the park and search for some Clefairies. But let's go ahead and see here. Still, not too. we're not too far away from where I evolved that Ninetales. But I'm still super stoked about that. I really need to clean up my Pokemon. It's a good thing I got some extra room. Clefairy, I don't think you're down this far. Where are you? You're next to the Vulpix and the Ninetales, but I don't... Oh, here we go. A 546 Clefairy. Yeah, I do have a pretty strong Clefairy right now, so I'm not too worried about finding powerful Clefairies. I'm more worried about finding Clefairies in general, get the four candies, and move on. Okay, so this is actually a pretty decently big find here. We need these uh, just in general, so we've got to catch this Nidoran female... There we go, got the nice curve. To rock, there we go. I've had like really good luck catching Nidoran females for whatever reason, uh, but I've just had some really good luck and we have 110 candies now. I actually think I could trade in some Nidoran female candies, probably. Yeah, I could. Pro let me just trade in all the ones under 400. So now we only need 13 more Nidoran female candies. Hopefully we can hatch one in an egg. At time I'd actually like to hatch a Nidoran female. Uh, but we will have to wait on C. Alright guys, so we've got another Clefairy. Uh, actually finding a decent Clefairy. Just like the Vulpix, they tend to look to be on this side of the park. And this is a pretty strong Clefairy. Let's go ahead and raspberry it, because I don't want to lose them. I should have been more... Oh gosh, I should have been... Uh, more raspberry worthy to, or willing to spend with Vulpix uh, because I think we could have evolved a lot earlier than this video. But I was kind of a was kind of stingy. Don't run away. Let's go ahead and hit it with a great ball. We've got plenty of great balls. Didn't get a great that time. I'm going to move my car a little bit here. If you hear something, just moving my car up. All right, let's go ahead and raspberry again. Hopefully we can get it here. All right. And I missed a great ball. That's all we, okay, got a great, a great for the great ball. Ain't, no, wow. Wow, that was crazy. 
got plenty of great balls, and I got plenty of raspberries, so as long as he doesn't want run away, I'm all right with this. Rock, yes, there we go. Got Clefairy. That might be a, is that the new high for Clefairy? We've got 33 candies now. Let's see here, where is Clefairy? No, that is not our high. 546 is our high, but I can ditch this one. 16 more candies to go. That is four more Clefairies till we have a Clefable. And then I won't be done coming to this park, but I won't need to come to it as much or I'll just need to wait until the nests move again or switch again because then what is the, is it, to be Jigglypuff's next? No, Jigglypuff's are the opposite. It'd be, ooh, it'd be Nidoran males. I would take that, and then it's Nidoran females. So the order that this is going to go into, I actually really like what it's what it's heading towards in the Nidoran males and females. All right, guys, so we've got an egg popping off here. I'm not actually sure if it's a, if it's a 2K or a 5K. Hopefully it's the 5K. Oh, it's 2K, and we got a Caterpie. Oh, and we've got a Clefairy. Hey, look at that. That worked out well. We've got a Clefairy sitting here. Oh! Ooh, a 690. Oh, my gosh, dude. That, that's next level. And I screwed up an Ultra Ball. How do I do? How do I continue to screw up Ultra Balls and Great Balls? One, two, no. Don't run away. Don't run away. As long as it doesn't run away, I've got enough ammunition that I can catch it. One, two, three, let's go. 690 Clefairy, no way. I don't know what that translates into as a Clefable, but that is crazy. We only need three more Clefairies till we're at a Clefable because I can just, oops. Okay, so we're getting close to a 5K. We've got two, three, Oh, oh, the 2K, the two, the double 2K will pop off probably first. All right, so let's go ahead and transfer this Clefairy. I am so hyped for the 690 Clefairy so we can evolve it into a Clefable. That's going to be crazy. Look at its bars almost full for level 24. We're about halfway to 25. I haven't actually been playing for a couple of days, so I've kind of gotten a little bit behind in my leveling, but I do have a bunch of, like, Weedles and Caterpies and stuff like that to pop off, so I'm not too worried. We should be fine um, to get to level 25 fairly quickly here. Alright guys, so we've got a 2k M egg popping off here. Obviously looking for the starters. Pikachu, Magikarp, or Geodude. Ah, Zubat. Ah, that's horrible. Could evolve into a gold bat. Okay, we don't have another one popping off just yet, but we do have this one f almost full at 1.99. So it should pop off here in just a second, and then we can move on to the 5km eggs and finish those off. And then, then it's on to the 10km egg that I might actually be able to hatch today. That might actually happen. If I can hatch that today, I'd be super stoked, and hopefully I could pull... I really want a Scyther out of it. But I would take a Magmar, another Lapras, Aerodactyl, Dratini. I'd really actually take a Dratini, even though I'm nowhere near getting even a Dragonair. It, it's progress towards Dragonite, I guess, is what I'm saying. Alright, for some reason today, my phone or my Mac just hates me whenever it's hatching an egg. It just, like, doesn't want to record. So, we did pull a Ponyta, 833, bringing us halfway to a really nice Rapidash. Uh, but, I think we have another egg to pop off here. Here we go. Come on. Nope, that's a 2K. Do I have... I think I have another 5K. But really, Weedle out of a 2K? No, I guess I don't. Huh. No, okay, no. It's the next time that I, the next time an egg pops off, I have two. I have two 5K M eggs. Hopefully my recording works better than, uh, let's see here. I do have some Ponytas. Let's see. Was that my highest Ponyta? That was an 833, wasn't it? Where is Ponyta? There it is. It, no, it was not. 849 is my highest Ponyta. 
that I will soon evolve into a, not soon, but hopefully evolve into a Rapidash here eventually. Uh, but let's see if we can find anything else before those other two eggs. Uh, Alright guys, we've got another Clefairy. There's actually a Clefairy behind me, I think. I just drove past it, so we're going to throw the car into reverse as soon as we catch this one. And back up and go catch in. Maybe we'll catch this Pidgeotto as well. I'm always on the hunt for the really low-level Pidgeottos because I, th I think they're kind of funny. Uh, so let me... I'm going to start backing up my car now because if there are two Clefairies here, that's huge. So we can transfer that one. Uh, is he not going to pop back up? No, Clefairy. Dang it, he's gone. No, 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 no. There he is, there he is, there he is. No, what the heck? Stop it, game. Let me catch the Clefairy. Let's go. We are so close to Clefairy Bowl. So close, it's so crazy. Two Clefairies right next to each other is huge. Don't run away. Like, super worried about ru them running away. The why is this one, like, super hard to catch? Why does it have the... Why doesn't it have the regular circle? Why does it have the different colored? I don't know. Okay, that was pretty. Okay, we, we got it. We're good. Two Clefairies in the bag. We need one. One. One more Clefairy. And then we can get a Clefable. Eggs are popping off. This area was just lit. Two Clefairies, we've got two eggs to pop. Oh, Staryu. Oh, no. One candy off of a Starmie. And here we go. Give me a Vulpix or a Growlithe, please. Okay, okay, you know what? I will take the Slowpoke because I think I can get a Slowbro now. Yes, we can get a Slowbro. Let's go. I don't want to pop another Lucky Egg, though right here um is that the highest slow poke that i have yeah 686 all right let's pop another lucky egg i might sit here then for a minute and evolve a bunch of of my crappy pidgeys and weedles and stuff like that i guess i can evolve into a star mean too i'll do that for you guys um, do I have enough to evolve? Yeah, I can evolve. Let's evolve a Zubat into a Golbat. There is a couple evolutions, I guess, that, uh, Zubats are pretty common evolutions into Golbats, but I'll show you guys a couple of evolutions here. We've got a couple of things that we can pop off. Um, like I said in yesterday's video, uh, you need to start saving up candies for Crobat, uh, but I thought I'd pop this one. This will probably be the last Golbat I evolve. Uh, now I'll just go into saving mode for Crobat. Can actually get rid of those three gold bets at the bottom. I think Paris. So yeah, we just evolved Paris. Beninet? Am I close on? I am close on Beninet. Probably could get there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay, I'd have to discard everything. Okay. Um, where the heck is Slowpoke? Into Slowbro. Another new Pokemon. We're just getting new Pokemon after new Pokemon. I said we need to start saving for Slow King now as well, but I don't have a Slow Bro, so I gotta, I gotta grab this. What's this gonna be? Thirteen or thirteen hundred? Can I get ambitious with a thirteen hundred? I'm gonna be ambitious. Thirteen hundred. Four, fourteen sixty nine. Not even too ambitious. Let's get it to. Oh, he goes up by thirty seven. Hold up, it goes up by 37? Hold on, this guy could become ridiculously good for me. We can, we can power it up two more times. This could be a 1600 slow bro. Let's go! 1617 slow bro. Nice! That definitely crept onto page one up here. Nice, 1617 Slowbro, my fourth strongest Pokemon right now. Push Ninetales a little bit farther down. Stupid Hypnos, I wish I could... I wish I could just, like, make those two not show up in the highest CP. Then the Ninetales would be right there. I just need to power it up over 1333. But, oh, man, Slowbro is a beast. I'll have to take him out. He's got Water Gun and Psychic. I would assume you would want Hydro Pump as his move, but Psychic isn't bad. Um, I'm still super, super stoked with uh, with sl the Slowbro. I did not think I'd get that high of a Slowbro. I guess we can go ahead and catch this. This is a Pidgey. 
Now let's catch this Pidgey real quick. But I'm super happy with this trip so far. If I can catch a Clefable, or if I can get to a Clefable, that is going to be absolutely huge. This would make this day, like, amazing. I would have gotten a Ninetale Slowbro. Um, we got other new, a Magneton. Were those all the only three new Pokemon? I don't even remember what new Pokemon I've gotten. Let's check real, let me check real quick. I thought I did a couple more evolutions there. So, we got Slowbro. Oh, wow, these don't, why is Slowbro not showing up as my most recent Pokemon? That's really weird. Uh, so there's nine tails. Some of them aren't showing up. Sand Slash was the other new one. There we go. That's the one I forgot. Sand Slash was our new Pokemon. So I'm really stoked and I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna do a, um, some evolving off video and then we get back. Hopefully we can find one more Clefairy. I got time for one more trip around the park. So hopefully we'll find a Clefairy, get our Clefable, and end this day uh, amazingly. All right, guys, so I wasn't going to show this, but it's a 672 EV, so I thought it was uh, important enough to show. I already threw a um, raspberry on it, so we're going to go into a great ball here, try to get this EV as I failed to hit it. And now, go away, great ball. I also forgot to evolve Star You into Star Me for you guys, so we will be doing that as well. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a very good Star Me, but we'll still go ahead and evolve it. And there we go. There's that 672 Eevee. That's going to be a really nice Pokemon. That might be one that I save for uh, second gen. 672 is really nice. I'm not sure I want to waste it on a Jolteon. So I might hold on to the 672 for uh, possible Umbreon or Espeon in the future. But let's go ahead and evolve this Staryu like I promised. I totally forgot to do that. Where is he? There it is, Star You. 514. I don't think this is going to be anything crazy. Maybe like a 1200 Star Me. I wouldn't be surprised if it was even less, like 11 or 1000. So I'm not expecting too much out of this, but it's an evolution. I still got that lucky egg on, so I might as well do it. What combat power is this? 1200. Wow, that's actually a little bit higher than I thought. I will take that. Uh, not half bad. Uh, also, always remember, I'm not going to be taking any more gems today. I only have one held, but let me go ahead and collect it, get my 500 Stardust and my 10 Poke Coins. So, always remember to do that. Always a good idea. But hopefully we can find this Clefairy. Alright guys, we have our final Clefairy here. My my video, or my recording software was taking forever to load. I was like, what is happening? I'm going to lose this Clefairy. But it finally low. Okay, don't run, don't run, don't. Oh my gosh. You have got to be kidding me. It was right there for me. The final Clefairy we needed, and it runs, man. First Pokeball runs. I should have Raspberried. I should have just played a safe Raspberry Ultra Ball. Oh, there's one back on the. Hold up, hold up. There's another Clefairy on the map. We've got a shot at this. I'm leaving this in the video because it's just heartbreak and it's heartbreak at its guys. It is popping off here now. We've got two Clefairies here. If I can't catch one, it'll just be heartbreak at its. Oh my 733! Oh my gosh, the strongest Clefairy yet that we found. This deserves an ultra ball. Oh, a great curveball. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, a curve great. Wow, that is crazy, and I miss an Ultra Ball. Ultra Balls are just so precious in this app. That should have been a great. That was just barely off the corner. May hurt me. Nope, we got it. Let's go. 733 Clefairy. We're going to be able to get Clefable, and it is just super hype. Let me pull my car up a little bit. Someone's trying to leave behind me. All right, so let's... Okay, other Clefairy is gone. Oh, I see how it is, Clefairy. Oh, well, I caught the 733. We're actually making progress on that 10K. I don't think we're going to... We're not going to hatch it today, but... It will get... I'm way too far down. Hold up. Clefairy, where are you? There we go. Trade in the 525, and here we go. Clefairy in the Clefable. 
733 is the Clefairy. I'm hoping for like a 12 or 1300 Clefable. 1300, I'm going to be ambitious. I want a 1300 Clefable. 1300 Clefable. Come on. New Pokemon for the Pokedex, which is always great. Oh, 1500! 1519 Clefable. That is huge. That is amazing. 1519. I did not think I'd get one that good. That is hype. We've added some really strong Pokemon today. 1519 Clefable and a 1617 Slowbro. Uh, we also have the Ninetales at 1268. And we also, we got this Venomoth at 1230. I didn't do it in the video, but I got it today. Uh, we got that Vaporeon, the 1730 uh, Vaporeon in this video. We got a 1000 Gold Ad in this video. We got the Magneton in this episode, as well as the Sand Slash. It has been just a great day. There's another Clefairy, Clefairy on my map, but we don't need to record um, me catching those in general here. I wish it would have been this popping off when there were Vulpix at this park, but if you guys remember, the Vulpix weren't spawning as nearly as much at this nest as the Clefairies are. The Clefairies are amazing here. Uh, you, I, I might even go come back and try to go for another Clefable. That's a lot of Clefairies I'd have to catch. It's like, it'd be close to like 20. It'd be, what is it, like 16 I think I'd need to get. So that's going to do it though, guys. Um, I'll do my little outro. There may be the 10K egg after the 10K egg after this. Who knows? But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will catch you guys in a later video.